done. What big news did we hear today? Well, we finally heard what we've all been waiting for, a reopening date for Walt Disney World. Yay! Hey guys, it's KJ. And John. Welcome to our channel where we do videos on... Disney! Motherhood and lifestyle. If you like this video, please... Give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Ding the notification bell. And leave us a comment. John, what big news did we hear today? Well, we finally heard what we've all been waiting for, a reopening date for Walt Disney World. Yay! And on July 11th, the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom will open to the public. On Wednesday, July 15th, it will be Epcot and Hollywood Studios. However, before going to the park, everyone who attends must have a reservation prior to going. There'll be no same-day ticket sales. Jim McPhee, Senior Vice President of Operations for Walt Disney World, said that there will be more details that will come out about this later on. They will be temporarily pausing things like fireworks, parades, and play areas. Basically, anything that requires a crowd to gather. There will be a social distancing squad of energetic cast members that will help promote social distancing throughout the park. We've seen this in Disney Springs, and now they're going to bring it to the theme parks. If you have any concerns about wearing your mask in the Florida humidity, Disney is setting up relaxation zones throughout the park where you'll be able to remove your mask and relax in a safe environment. Something important Disney mentioned is that there will be some sort of know before you go. Disney does not want any guests to come unprepared. So they will be sending out information, it will be available online, but there will be some sort of information on what you need to know before you go, whether they're telling you about the masks that you need to wear. Or the temperature checks. Basically anything you need to know in order to go to the parks safely. One thing that was a bit surprising to us was the fact that Disney will be opening five weeks later than Universal's opening on June 5th, which we told you about last week. Why the delay? We're not sure yet. We may get more guidance from Disney executives soon. Disney had to submit their reopening plan to the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force. And on Tuesday, Orange County inspectors toward the park to evaluate those proposed plans and to ensure CDC compliances. We can only suspect that Disney met that criteria and thus why an opening date was revealed today. The plan included how Disney will promote social distancing and enhance cleaning measures. They will be protecting guests the moment they step out of their vehicles or when they step onto Disney property. Some of the other safety measures we'll no doubt see inside the parks are face coverings, hand washing stations, and controlling the flow of pedestrian traffic. We're thinking it will be set up similarly to how it is currently in Disney Springs, where there is arrows on the ground directing pedestrian traffic. So we have arrows going one way on one side and arrows going the opposite way on the other side. And like any measures, it's all up to us to follow them. Throughout the park, those safety measures will be posted in several different languages for the safety of guests traveling domestically and from abroad. Now, Orange County's positive rate of COVID infection has been about half of the statewide number, which no doubt played a role in today's approval. We were so excited for today's news. I even got the baby dressed in a little Minnie Mouse outfit because we cannot wait. And now we actually have hope that we will be able to take our little one later this year. We're not sure when exactly because of course we need to be safe but we are very much excited for this news and hope that we get to go later this year. We hope everybody watching, if you're planning to go, we hope you guys get to go later this year or when it opens. What wasn't revealed today is the capacity. That will be something we will be looking forward to hearing about because it's going to be interesting to see how many people Disney will let in and how they decide to increase that capacity over time. Much like we saw in Shanghai, Disney will be doing temperature checks for everyone who is entering the park. Just remember, if you or anyone in your party has a temperature over 100.4, they will not be allowed admission into the park. Now remember, that's you and your entire party. And as far as the rides themselves, we expect it to be similar to Shanghai, the rides being staggered by rows. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are as excited as we are for the parks to be reopening, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And leave us a comment. What are you guys most excited about? Are you going to be going to Disney this year? When do you plan on going? Did you think the parks would be opening this soon? Did you think they'd be opening later? Let us know. We want to hear from you guys. And with that, we will see you real soon. Bye. See you at the park, soon as it opens.